Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey guys, G Forever here. Yes, we're here to give the best and the worst Godzilla toys of 2020. Before I do my top five uh, best to Godzilla toys of 2020, I have a few miscellaneous categories. All right. For example, best reissue, a toy that originally came out in the past and went away, but now it's back. Okay. I think the best reissued toy is the Aurora Glow-in-the-Dark uh, Godzilla. Oh, wow. Yeah, reissued by Atlantis uh, Models. So, yeah, back when I was a kid, even, uh, you know, when I was a little kid, there was this uh, one of the first Godzilla items you could get in the U.S. was mm -hmm. a, a model kit of Godzilla from uh, Aurora. Okay. And there was a glow-in-the-dark version, too. Where And, man, this was just quite the hit among Godzilla fans. And mm. a lot of people have fond memories of it. And now it's back. Wow. Uh, so Atlas After, Mo yeah, many years. After many years. So Atlas Models is like basically they're make they basically just turn the factory back on it's the same uh, -huh. uh you know from the you know pretty much the same factory the same tooling uh they're just making more of them oh and, very cool uh, yeah at a reasonable price and so i recommend uh yeah 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 i highly highly recommend it very cool oh i got another fun category okay this is with a long name it's best godzilla game too hard to play <laughs> and you could probably guess what this is. I, I think I might know because there were a few, yeah, there were a few Godzilla games that came out this year. Yeah, yeah, but there was one in particular. There was uh, the there was one in particular too hard to play despite right. despite many people's uh, trying. <laughs> so my guess, like, it won't be the Jenga, maybe yeah. not the Monopoly, but is it the Funko game? Yes, yes, it's Funko <laughs> Godzilla Tokyo Clash. Ah. So, yes, which we uh, unboxed. We didn't really, like, uh, do a full review because we never quite managed to play it. Mm -hmm. And uh, many, some have tried, and, yeah, some people have posted YouTube videos trying to explain the rules and trying to play it during the video. And I don't think anyone actually succeeded in actually following the rules quite correctly. Mm. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, but still, just as a, a display piece, I think it's very cool. It's got these four... Uh, you know, you know, many, many small figures, uh, including Megalon. Yes. Megalon. And yeah, and so it's just fun. You know, it's a fun box. It's fun, uh, small figures. It's the whole thing is like just looks cool. I really like the, the fonts they used. Um, yeah, I think that was an interesting one uh, for sure. And I hope you know, it's hopefully one day I can figure. You know, we can figure out. And once this pandemic is over, we can figure out maybe uh, give it a give it another try. So I got one other miscellaneous uh, best of before I get to forget to my top five all and right that's the best uh godzilla t-shirt oh <laughs> because this year my word it seems it's like, been a lot <laughs> yeah 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 i think there's a well like one guy in particular who's in charge of like uh licensing godzilla for toho who's mm -hmm. just uh, apparently gone to every like t-shirt company you know in in the world and convinced <laughs> them to make some godzilla t-shirts so oh, it's yeah. just it was just one and one company after another announcing their yep. own uh, godzilla t-shirts yep. uh just tons of them but I think there's one T-shirt that stood out. In fact, it's the one T-shirt that I actually bought of all the ones of all the ones that came out. There was one one in particular that really stood out, and it's like, oh, I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm going to buy this. <laughs> and it it was like it was actually sold out at first too. When it first appeared, it sold out. But luckily, they've made more, and you can still get it. And, I'm going to uh, guess on that one. Is that the Mondo Gigan? Mondo Gigan. Yes, yeah. indeed. <laughs> yeah, the Mondo Gigan. Because it's just in terms of like, with all these different t-shirt makers, they all sort of like are doing their own artistic display mm -hmm. of like how they want the t-shirt to look. And uh, I think the artist who worked on that uh, Mondo Gigan t-shirt uh, really did a uh, outstanding job. Very cool. Very cool. So uh, I agree. I think that one is probably the best. Um, for a more um, uh, international T-shirt, um, uh, Cospa had a had a bunch uh, in Japan, and there's one in particular. I'm a little biased, but I love that Burning Godzilla T-shirt. You may have seen me wear it um, in one of the videos. Um, I think it's great. Um, you know, it, it, it's one of the few Burning Godzilla T-shirts or any of any apparel out there. So um, the the Burning Godzilla '95. So I really love that one. All right, Heisenberg. So, what are your top five Godzilla toys of 2020? Okay, we'll start with number five. Is the uh, Shine Burning Godzilla humidifier? Oh, awesome! And even yeah. though I must admit I haven't seen it in person yet, I've only uh, I I've only seen like a video of it from Japan. Uh -huh. 
But uh, G Forever has the standard version. Uh, yes. I, so I've seen the standard version. Uh, you know, I've held it, held it, and seen it. I've seen it, uh, you know, in person, and that one was already uh, really excellent. And now that this everything I've seen about the Burning Godzilla one uh, seems like it's just even even better. Step up. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Step up because it's got more lights. It's got uh, yeah. Basically, it lights up a lot more. Yeah. And uh, and otherwise, it's pretty similar. But that added light, you know, and and the you know the Burning Godzilla and the design. body, the eyes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It makes it even more even more exciting. Yep. So uh, so I think this is a very cool item. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, highly recommend that. Yes, um, I actually have that on order, and it's hopefully on its way here. Um, while that's not also, I I didn't put it on my best toys list because I thought that's more of like a home, kind of like a home item. Uh, but yes, that one would be probably my top one of the year as well. Uh, again, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen it in person, but that one looks super impressive. Um, the music, you know, it's my favorite movie. Uh, I love the, you know, love the, um, the music from the movie. Um, and I think actually it, it holds more water than the original. So it's mm. actually more useful, um, than the original, um, shine, uh, Godzilla, um, nineties version. Okay. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to see that one. Okay. Oh, cool. So now I have number four, All right, fourth number best four. Godzilla toy of 2020, okay. according, according to Heisenberg. And it's from X Plus. It's the Large Monster Series Godzilla 2019. Oh, uh, that made the list. Yeah, Shonen, the Shonen Rick exclusive. Okay. Yeah. So on this we reviewed. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So G Forever has this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, it's sort of like it's what, uh, like 25 centimeters tall. Yes, that's correct. And again, yep. the Shonen Rick version, which has the blue, like blue paint on it, and lights up. And but yep. it's just like everything about it. It's like a great pose. It's a, it's like painted so well, and then with light, the light up effect is just perfect. So if you want, uh, and again, being 25 inches tall, it's not too ridiculously uh, uh, expensive. So if you want, uh, if you want like a high end uh, Godzilla 2019, I think this is definitely the, uh, you know, the one to get. There he is. Yeah, let me just get the batteries yeah, back yeah, in. Yeah, there he's lit Look up. Look how bright the lights are. So. Oh, yeah, and even the eyes. Oh, yeah, bright, and then yeah, and just the distribution of light on the spines is just exactly what you want. And, yes. and And it's the eyes, too, also light up. Yeah, let's see if we can get the so, eyes on camera. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, check out our other video. We, we you know, went over this guy in, in full detail, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent choice. So yeah, I'm glad because in the past I've been kind of like iffy on X Plus's uh, light up effects. Yeah, but the I, light up gimmick. But I think they're getting better, and this one, as I said, this is the best light up effect yet. Uh, really, uh-huh. re- yeah, really, it's like just couldn't be better. I totally agree. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is um, I think probably their best light up effect for the uh, 25 centimeters in scale right now. Um, there was another another X Plus. Um, that was really good, but it's not Godzilla related, but it was the Gamera 3 uh, Iris. Um, so highly recommend that one too. Oh yeah. Okay, so you ready for number three? What's well, number I'll three? Put that down. So third best, third best Godzilla toy of 2020 on my list. And this one's from uh, Bandai. Okay. It's the premium King Ghidorah 1964 oh, wow. three color figure set. And Excellent. Again, and G Forever owns this one as well. Yep. Here's the normal color. The normal King color. Ghidorah. So yeah, this is from Band. The... These are Bandai's part of the Bandai Premium uh, collection, uh, where you get two 1964 King Ghidorahs, like one yep. with the gold and one with the uh, was it the rainbow colors? The rainbow colors. Yeah, yep. the ra- rainbow colors, which were the original colors they were going to use. Yes. Uh, and that... they both come with classic looking tags. So. Oh yeah! Cool. Yeah! Yeah! But they just look so good. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I want you know it actually comes with a second pair of uh, heads with the blue color, uh, but with like the uh, white out eyes, which imitates what uh, King Ghidorah looks like in the uh, poster arts. Um, so that's really cool. And um, you can also interchange the wings. Uh, you can check out our other video. We also did this one in in uh, you know full detail. Um, also, you know, this, I, I love the color. So, um, yeah, definitely check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we got number two ready for number two. 
All right, what's number two? Number two, also from uh, X Plus, so X okay. plus, the second X Plus item on my list, and it's the uh, Rodan 2019 Defo Reel, Rick exclusive. Ah, Defo Reel. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 because this is, uh, I think this is my favorite X Plus Defo Reel to date. And especially, again, the Rick exclusive version. I saw this at New York Comic Con 2019. Yep. It was b revealed for the very first time. And uh, just looked, it just looked so wonderful. And yep. and then again, I've told the story, but it looked so wonderful. And it was just like basically going up for pre-order that day. So I called up Chief Forever and said, oh, please, yeah, please pre-order this. Please, yeah, pre-order yeah. this. This is, uh, uh, you, know, you, you know, we don't want to risk, don't want to risk uh, not getting this thing. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, an excellent choice. I agree. It's one of um, one of the awesome, one of the most awesome defo reels uh, to date. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just uh, Rodan was one of the highlights of that movie, and yep. <laughs> uh, I think this is my favorite. This is my favorite R Rodan 2019 figure. Yeah, uh, at least so far. Yep. 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 Yeah. Also, check out our other video. We also covered this one. Okay. okay so, what's your number we're down one? Down to number one. Number one, like, oh, there's been, a, like you said, there's been a lot over the years, but I think there's one figure, one figure, which is the best Godzilla toy of uh, 2020. And it's actually hidden. It's actually got it. I got it waiting here behind me. Okay. I can get it if I can get it without unplugging. All right. It's actually, believe it or not, it's the Playmates. Wow. It's, Number one, huh? It's the Playmates Heat Ray Godzilla 2021. Wow! <laughs> From their, you know, Godzilla versus uh, Kong uh, uh, collection. Excellent, excellent choice. And, and yeah, so I picked this in part because it's. Uh, Did you pick it because of battle damage, or no, is no, it no, the, no? It's the clear? In, it's despite of the battle damage. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into the battle damage, <laughs> but no, I like the fact that this is like an easy, easily accessible. Like, uh, what is it? Ten dollars or thirteen dollars? Like, yep. it's a, it's an affordable toy, you know, like in the ten to fifteen dollar range. Yes, and uh, but it just looks so beautiful that it has the like the blue translucent blue. Uh, spikes yep. here, and a uh, a nice uh, fire beam accessory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, and you don't need a stand. Oh yeah, yeah, no stand. But I'm just so surprised that uh, uh, that like you know this sort of accessory you would think normally you'd associate with like some sort of like exclusive uh, that's uh, harder you know much harder to get. So the fact that it's like relatively easy to get this from Walmart, you could even at one point it was kind of on and off. You could even buy it from the Walmart uh, website, or it's in the Walmart stores, and mm -hmm. it's not all that expensive. So it's like a toy for all ages. Yep. And it just looks so good. Yes. Because I mean, because yeah, it's like X Plus obviously does an outstanding job, but uh, we really do want toys for like you know for a wide audience. Yeah. So uh, so this is that uh, this. So uh, for that, so for that reason, in part, I think this is the best. Yeah, the best toy. Very cool. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, I, I want to say like this is one of a, a highlight for Playmates. Like I think if Playmates can pull off something like this, um, I, I, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of their upcoming Godzilla versus Kong uh, toys. Oh yeah, so that's uh, my best. And again, we'll get to my worst later. But okay. now I'm very excited. Very excited to hear G Forever's uh, uh, best. All right. So before we get to the toys, um, since you were talking about all these other miscellaneous things, uh, I'm going to also talk about a few miscellaneous first. So I think the best like home, um, like home Godzilla item would be that humidifier, the Burning Godzilla from Shine. Uh, but a, run a good runner-up would be this um, this one I do have here, which is the Godzilla tissue box oh. stand. So it doubles up as a uh, paperweight because it's a very heavy, heavy item. But um, if you put a, you know, a tissue uh, box behind it, um, you can just use it as your tissue. You'll need it for your, uh, you know, your uh, allergies. Um, <laughs> uh, very useful, and it's a, it's a really good sculpt of Godzilla. Uh, I, I think this is uh, 92, and uh, I believe it's between 92 or 93. It looks, I think it's a 92. Yeah, for a tissue box, that's a really good. That's a really good uh, Godzilla sculpture there. 
Yeah, um, very good uh, Godzilla sculpture. His teeth are sharp, or not, not, not super sharp, but you know they're kind of sharp. So when you pull the tissue paper, you have to be a little careful. And if you can find blue tissue paper, it's perfect. So hmm. um, if you know if there's any blue tissue paper out there, please leave a comment uh, in the video because I would love to have blue tissue. Oh, some, <laughs> yeah, I think some. Yeah, so I think some. Uh, yeah, companies do that. Rather than okay. having white, they'll do it. Yeah, they'll have it like uh, yeah. kind of like a I, uh, like a yeah. sky blue. Sky blue, that will be great. Like that, that'll fit the uh, tissue box very well. Um, so another thing, um, best statue of the year. Um, then we don't get uh, too many Godzilla statues, I guess. But um, I think Diamond Select Toys nailed it with this uh, Fire Rodan um, from the uh, their uh, gallery series. This is the depicting the Rodan from the poster um, version, uh, the art poster. And uh, while this is not like poster, like 100% poster accurate, they use the 93 uh, Rodan. I think it's perfect because it's actually from the movie. Um, so the 56 Rodan. But they also included like parts from the uh, poster version of Mechagodzilla and the um, uh, when, when, it's, uh, when Mechagodzilla uh, disengages into three different uh, mechas. So, oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think that was a really great uh, detail. Yes. That, yeah, those parts of uh, Mechagodzilla kind of like uh, mm -hmm. spread around him. Yes, and uh, you know he, they really brought a 2D art into 3D, um, you know, 3D form. And I think this is, you know, this is so good. But I actually have it in um, my glass case, so um, you know, really recommend this one. Um, you know, it's not too, you know, it's not too hard to find. I think I can, I found, you know, some in the local uh, comic book stores like Newberry Comics. Um, and I think it's not terribly expensive. Uh, Heisenberg, do you remember the cost of this guy? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, somewhere around, well, it's at least sixty. I think somewhere yeah. around sixty dollars. Yeah. So around you know fifty, sixty. You know, not terribly expensive, but you're getting an awesome uh, fire Rodan. Um, yeah, much easier to get. Yep. Yeah, yeah, much easier to get, and then uh, yeah, not too not too terribly expensive. Because then yes. one way to one uh, good way to do it, because because with Diamond Select toys items, you can pre-order them from uh, comic book stores. Mm -hmm. So you can look at once. Uh, so yeah, you can ask your uh, local comic book store. It's like once this beco becomes available for pre-order, it's like oh please pre-order it for me, and that way you don't have to pay a shipping cost. Mm -hmm. Like once it comes out, you just go to your local comic book store and. Uh, and uh, pick it up with uh, you know without having to pay shipping. Yeah, very cool. All right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Best statue. Yes, best statue. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about candy toys. So right now there's you know there's only really one company which is Bandai that does them, and they've been producing the HGD Plus series. So the first one was really good, but then the rest are kind of meh. Uh, this is um, one of them that uh, they released, and oh my word! Like, what happened to Godzilla 2000? Like, well, but this is really good. Like, this Mogera, wow, top notch. So they became the worst um, candy toy to probably the best. Um, this is really highly detailed uh, Mogera. Like, I, I have the like the original Mogera HG, but putting them side by side, but this one is really top notch. Oh yeah, uh, so that's Series Four, right? This is series four, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, Space Godzilla it even comes with these crystals, um, so really cool. Uh, they're clear on here, so for something this small, you're getting a lot of detail. Um, and they also improved uh, where the attachments um, actually go into the base, so they don't fall over. Whereas the previous ones, they're just de you know they just fall over if you tap on them. Um, but that's Space Godzilla, and here's Godzilla uh, ninety four. Very very nice. And, oh yeah, and there's one more in the series. There's one more. Unfortunately, I didn't get a complete set. Um, so, uh, little Godzilla. He looks great in photos. Uh, I did find him um, uh, on the uh, uh, secondary market. Uh, paid a little more. I'm waiting for it to be shipped from Japan. Um, very impressed with uh, uh, with this uh, this set right now. So, um, I'm looking forward to um, you know the the next couple ones. Um, I think. King Ghidorah 64, oh, no, 91 Megalon, and I think Mechagodzilla 74. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a series. They've said there's going to be a series five and a series six. A six. Oh, that, yeah. We don't know what, I think we don't have all the details yet. Yeah. But we're looking, oh, yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. So, yeah, very curious to see what, you know, what's coming out for six. I think five, um, they teased um, the photos and they look great. So, really looking forward to them. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess we're on to the toys, right? Number five, uh, the Yuji Ooh. Sakai Godzilla 1984. So um, this is the Rick Boy version, which does have the light-up effect. Um, and they really, you know, Yuji Sakai is the true uh, master of uh, sculpting Godzilla because they captured the 84 uh, very well. And this, they had a closed mouth uh, look too. So this is pretty cool. And another thing I love about this figure is the fins. Um, although the, this is the Rick version, um, it's the light up version um, and it's a clear material, but they uh, tinted uh, the fins to have like a little bit of blue. And um, I think this looks great. Like even with the lights off, as you see, um, the, it looks really great. Um, and I really love how uh, they captured uh, the 84 very well and just kind of having a blue fin uh, versus the typical white or gray fin, you know, makes, you know, adds a little color to the shelf um, and makes it a little more unique. So I really love it. Let's love this guy. And um, I think, you know, he was, he was really great, but he came out in the beginning of the year. So, um, you know, some people might have uh, forgot about him. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Early 2020. Oh yeah. 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 He looks like a great, great 84. So number four, we have a bunch of, um, so this year band, I released a bunch of stuff. So I think the, uh, fake Godzilla set, um, is really good. Um, you know, we don't get too many fake Godzillas out there. Bandai premium nailed it. Um, also have like a classic looking tag. Um, and I think this looks really good. Like, even though it's not an X plus, like this is, looks very close to the suit from the movie. Um, one thing I do, I wish they, uh, they did was include a third one where he didn't have the, um, like the, re the metal reveal. So then, you know, you have like the, the fake Godzilla or you can use him as like, um, Godzilla versus, uh, you know, the fake Mecha Godzilla. So you can ha have uh, another one to play with or display better. Um, but yeah, I think this fake Godzilla set is awesome. And if I can kind of cheat a little bit and include set two or, you know, this tricolor uh, Mecha Godzilla came with three, you know, three transforming Mecha Godzilla. So it's kind of like, a, you know, set one and two together. Um, unfortunately, they broke it up. Oh, yeah, and this one does that. have three. Uh, but now you have the complete transformation from fake Godzilla to Mecha Godzilla. Um, this is really well done. Um, you know, I'm not too crazy about like the, the you know normal Mecha Godzilla. It is a really good normal Mecha Godzilla 74, uh, but they've done 74 Mecha Godzilla a lot. I'm more uh, interested in the half transformation the most. I think this is really cool. Like he's half transformed and half um, in the transforming phase. Uh, but you know, having like this one too, like when he's like kind of uh, transforming. Um, from fake Godzilla to Mecha Godzilla, I think this looks kind of cool too. Um, lots of different colors. A lot of you know, if you like glitter, you know, this is full of glitter. It's glitter everywhere. Oh yeah, it's very so, fun to have. Uh, yeah, as you said, the full five. Yeah, the full five. So yeah, I really like it. Okay, on to number three. Number three. This Defo Real uh, Orga, um, like the Rick Boy version, um, which is like the I don't know if they have the official name. Is it the uh, second stage or, or snake mouth uh, orga? Um, uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't remember if they gave it a special name or not. I think they just called it. Uh, yeah, it's the exclusive version. The exclusive uh, version. Yeah, I don't but, know if um, they gave it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, its own name. So you know, the Godzilla fans, you know, you know, call this like this, you know, second stage or or the snake mouth version. And you know, we don't get any orgas like this. Um, and they nailed this one, you know, down to every single detail. Like I would, I really hope they make like a twenty-five centimeter version of this because this looks so good. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not surprised that it made your list because I remember like uh, this uh, this particular figure made uh, had a ca at least a cameo appearance in several of our videos. <laughs> That yeah. uh, after after once uh, G Forever had him, it's like he kept bringing him out again for uh, to sort of play with him uh, with the other with the other toys we were uh, reviewing. Yeah, so I I really like this one of uh, a lot, and it's funny how like you can still see some of the uh, non uh, the the normal Orga on here, but they reuse like the arms and a little bit of the legs and the tail. But the way they did the repaint, they blended the different sculpt in. It's just done so well. Um, you can't even tell it's like uh, the same, you know, it's based off of the same uh, 
you know, the same mold. Uh, it looks so different. Oh yeah, and when it was announced, it, for me, it was a big surprise that they would that the exclusive version would be so different from the standard version. Yeah. So yeah, so if you're a big Orga fan, uh, it's great to, that you can like get both and have like these two, uh, yeah, yeah, two very different. You know, two very different versions of organ. Yeah, so the the standard one is up there. I took them out of the shelf. That's why there's an empty space. But even the standard one, it comes with uh, a bonus um, uh, baby orga. So like that's that's insane. Like no, so you get you all know, three stages. All, then. You can get all three stages. You're only missing the UFO stage, um, which hopefully someday they'll make, but um, as like a bonus figure or something. But yeah, this is really great. That was number three, and number two is going to be hard because um, I think NECA did an awesome job this year. But because NECA did, you know, such a great job on this repaint um, on the '89, I think this one stole the uh, spot for number two. Um, you'll you'll need a Biolanti to go with it to you know to put it on your shelf. I think the SH Monster Arts Biolanti works well. I, that's how I have them paired up in my uh, display. And um, this looks so good. Like the green paint really looks like um, from the movie. So, um, you know, I think this one stole number two. No, very cool. That's number two. All right, number two. Into, so we're down to G Forever's number one, best Godzilla toy of 2020. Yep. All right. So number one would be for me the gigantic... 2019 Godzilla. No, oh, there we go. So, um, yeah. So this, you know, the you know, 2019 was when the movie came out. But um, I think this is probably the best representation of uh, the 2019 Godzilla uh, so far. And this is the Rick Boy version. I love the the blue paint on him. Uh, he's just a, such a massive figure. So I love the size. Although he does take up a lot of shelf space. Um, I think he's worth it. Like, yeah, you know, he's really he's super well done. He's not he doesn't even have the light up effect, but with the uh, the lights uh, shining on him, it does make the fins glow a lot. So, I really love um, this you know this guy right here. Oh yeah. So we saw all our best um, Godzilla toys for 2020. So Heisenberg, what are your worst Godzilla toys for 2020? Okay, so now I get my uh, my list of uh, worst Godzilla toys, and I do have five. Five, five, on, five okay. on my list. I'm not sure how many G Forever has on his list, but yeah, gonna, I can we'll, expand. We'll, we'll to find it. out. <laughs> well, we'll find. Well, we'll find out. Okay. But uh, I came up with five. So right. number five, and this one just got added the other day. Number okay. five is the Hot Topic exclusive Godzilla. Oh, I'm uh, surprised that's not number one. <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's well. We'll uh, talk about that. Reserve that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Hot Topic exclusive Godzilla, because basically it's the price, it's the size and the price of a NECA. Okay. But it just looks if you put it side by side next to like a NECA figure, it just would look just so so, so completely in, inferior. So that's part of my frustration is that NECA's gone away. And so what do we have? Like we have this hot topic uh, Godzilla, <laughs> which is just like again, it's like the you know, the sculpture and the paint, it's just so uh, so inferior compared to what NECA would do. Mm. That I was like, I was very frustrated. So I made a video about that where I was kind of yeah. ranting, ranting and raving about how uh, disappointed I was uh, yeah. in that. So yeah. it's actually you know, like I don't know. It's like if I if it weren't for the fact that it it's so much looks to me so much worse than a NECA, it's like maybe I wouldn't be quite as critical of it. I mean, because uh -huh. people have you know some people have said it's like oh they kind of like it and yeah yeah I can understand that. It's like it's like it it's uh, it has it has its charms. It's just mm -hmm. that it's like for the money you're paying. Uh, it's not nearly as good as uh, as uh, you know other figures that are around for the same price. Mm, yeah, um, I mean I can't really judge uh, too much because the product isn't out yet. But from the photos, if the prototype looks that bad, um, it's you know I think uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I think that might be uh, you know if usually the prototypes are better than the real thing. So seeing the prototype looking like that, I'm I'm very worried. Um, so yeah, that might be a, a bad one. But is that is that going to come out in 2020 or is it 2021? No, I think it's out already. I think it's you out can, already. You can already oh. get it. All right, so that was number five. The fifth All worst. All right, number five. Uh, the fourth worst is uh, the Playmates Shin Godzilla. <laughs> uh, so yeah, because then again, it's like he's not... Because uh, basically it's like it's the head. There he is. But yeah, yeah the head is just like... It just looks so uh, so dorky. 
compared to like the you know the actual movie uh so yeah, yeah. that's sort of like for if you're going to go to all the trouble of making a shin godzilla that's like it would be nice if he actually looked yeah you know, looked closer to the movie and looked a little more uh you know formidable yeah this poor guy especially it's the face you know especially the face and the head there just yeah. looks uh looks looks yeah looks uh yeah, it looks like there's something a bit off there. But yeah, uh, it's but really again, sad. It's, but yeah, he's uh, but uh, but actually, I do kind of find him somewhat endearing. It's like the longer mm. I've owned him, it's like for what he is, I do find him kind of yeah yeah. I still actually kind of find him kind of cute and endearing. I do. I'm, <laughs> I am glad that I have him on my shelf. Yeah, I've got him on my shelf next to my other like playmates. Yeah. And uh, but but still, it's it's mostly it's like oh they uh, you know. It's like really why why didn't they try? It seems like they try, weren't really try trying. Try a little harder. Yeah, why yeah. why aren't they trying to do a better job? Yeah, I mean it's so unfortunate and um and I don't know if you we probably talked about it like the sculpt looks like they just took it from NECA and uh and just ruined the face. Um like the NECA's face wasn't the greatest to start with, but uh at least the body was good, but um yeah, I don't know what they what they were thinking, and how, I don't know because all Godzilla products needs to be uh, approved by Toho, and you know somehow Toho, you know, just said okay, and here he is. Like, yeah, that, yeah, I don't know. But the funny thing is, I was I was not gonna. I, I was like so. Uh, it's kind of like boycotting uh, buying the Playmates, but once it was off the shelves, I regretted it so bad, and I had to buy it on eBay. I had to pay extra, so I was, I don't know, I'm crazy. So. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he has his charms. He does. It's just like, does. but yeah, it does seem like a missed opportunity, though, to do yes. something better. Correct. Correct. Yep. Oh, yeah. So third, number three, the third worst uh, Godzilla toy, 2020, okay. on my list. It's the Kid Robot Origuni Godzilla. Wait, this might Origuni. surprise you. Origuni. Oh, I don't know if you okay. remember the Origuni. I do. So basically, this is something that NECA put out, but it was actually originally, uh, it was actually from uh, Kid Robot. So Kid Robot mm. and NECA are owned by the same person. Uh, so they, they, their stuff co- tends to o- you know, overlap. So NECA put out this release of, uh, of like three, kind of like three, uh, uh, like uh, Godzilla knickknacks. And uh, yeah, they had like the bobblehead and he had this cute little, uh, what was it, like a, like phone a, cable phone, biter. Fo- yeah, phone cable biter. That was cute. Yeah. And then it had like this kid robot Origuni Godzilla, yeah. which was basically like this flat little Godzilla that you could then fold, fold to make it into a Godzilla. And my well, again, it's like it just looks not it, the finished product just does not look uh, all that great. <laughs> yeah. It looks pretty. It looks pretty wild. Yeah. And also, it's it's actually it wasn't all that fun to fold up. It's no, it's, it was hard. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of hard and aggravating. And I saw like yeah, poor G Forever had to struggle with it. And I've seen other people like try to review it and also struggle with it. That uh, yeah, it wasn't really fun a fun craft project to try to put mm. this thing together. And apparently, this is the one and only Origuni. Oh, looks like okay. they gave up on the idea. I haven't heard about any other Origuni since then. <laughs> so it looked like yeah. it was kind of like a failed idea. So they just uh. kind of threw it in there. Yeah, uh, but again, I actually once, but I, I again, he's he's still kind of a, you know if you take him for what he is, he's he is kind of endearing. It's kind of yep. fun to have him around just to make fun of him. Mm. Uh, but uh, but uh, but yeah, kind of like, uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, maybe, but yeah, like not uh, not quite a success there. Yeah. Okay, ready for number two then? What's number two? Okay, number two, the second worst Godzilla toy of 2020, from Ban Presto. Ah, oh, you got it. Burning yep. Godzilla 2019, yep. uh, Deformation King. Yeah. Uh, which again, some people call the uh, what is it? The Cheetos, the Cheetos Godzilla. So this is their like uh, sort of sm- you know their deformed uh, uh, Burning Godzilla 2019, but it's the paint. It's the paint that ruins it. Uh, they just kind of like you know, like, uh, like blasted him with, uh, orange dust and, uh, so the Cheetos or Doritos Godzilla. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They just, yeah. Like blasted him with this orange dust and the finished result is, is not, uh, all that appealing. And especially now that we have like the X plus, uh, uh, defo like, reel. uh, defo reel of burning Godzilla, like the X plus looks so much better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this guy, it's like, it, I think, 
I think once we sort of like took this out of the box, it was like, oh, it's like, oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's like, uh, this might, you know, our money might have been better spent here. Yeah, um, their standard Godzilla is very good. Um, I don't know what what happened here. They just, like you said, just blasted him with this orange paint. Um, you know, I I, I kind of wish uh, they made him like more clear, or even if it wasn't clear, like just maybe this type of orange. They should have cho- chose a different orange. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they, uh, they think they could have done something uh, better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, their their regular uh, Godzilla 2019 and the King Ghidorah were great, so I don't know what happened. And this one doesn't really have any... It, he Again, he's not cute. He's not cute. He's not, like, kind of, like, uh, so bad it's good. He's just... He, he just looked like... I, I think he's just an eyesore on the shelf. <laughs> so yeah. there's nothing... I don't think there's anything redeeming about this guy. So, uh, so yeah, I think he's sort of like a... Yeah, I think if you go out there and spend money on him, he's just just a clear disappointment. Yep. Uh, but the funny thing is, you can find him at a Hot Topic and um, a lot of the local stores, comic book stores. Oh, and there stuff. you so, go. So you can go to Hot Topic, you can pick up yeah. this guy and their own exclusive. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> yeah, I definitely can uh, find it a lot easier. All right. All right. So we're down to the worst. Like, and the whole year, Chief Forever can probably might be able to guess what this is at this point. But the whole year... 2020, the worst Godzilla toy uh, made, uh, according to me, okay. is, is the Kid Robot Bunny Godzilla. I guessed it, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the Loot Crate exclusive. And here, too, this this is like a really like goofy-looking guy where it's just again it's not it's not even it's not even cute in his own way i think he's just i think he's just ugly and kind of yeah just ugly and uh and uh yeah a bad idea yep so but yeah kid robot likes to do these like stylized they got their own like aesthetic they like to do stuff like this but i think this is a this is a miss in this case He's yeah, just, but it looks like they're going to do a second one, uh, Mecha Godzilla ninety three. Well, yeah, that was the original plan. It's like so they so, had or like seventy four actually. So yeah, yeah, they had a set of like uh, of uh, the bunny figures, like a set of about six of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't I haven't heard anything about these things since then. I think I'm not sure. I think they may not have done well enough to uh, warrant making any more. <laughs> All right. So worst Godzilla toys of twenty twenty. Oh yeah, here's Chief Forever's picks. Yep. Uh, I guess we'll do if if we do five. I guess this will be number five, the Playmates Final Wars uh, Godzilla. Um, I don't know what happened to his eyes. Uh, there's a separate video you can check out. Um, the sculpt is just iffy, uh, but he's okay. He has his charm as well. Um, yeah, just not not the greatest Godzilla. Number four, um, probably another playmates. Their destroyer is not the greatest looking destroyer. It does not look scary. It does not look like that he will, uh, you know, he'll do much damage. No, oh, and the teeth in particular. It's just yeah. like yeah, yeah. The paint on the teeth. It's just like one, like one, uh, like row, one yep. strip. Yep. Uh, number three would be the Bampresso, like you said. Um, just really, really uh, not well done uh, compared to their standard. And uh, I was gonna say Shin Godzilla, but you know I think he had his charms. He won me over, and I had to buy him extra. So that's not um, number n- not on the list. But number two would be the Playmate Space Godzilla. Uh, we're seeing a common theme here. Uh, a lot of the classic um, uh, Godzilla items from Playmates didn't do so well. Um, I mean, just what happened? I don't know if you can see the face. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. They're, they're in particular, the teeth. The, the teeth, teeth are really something. The teeth, the eyes, I, I don't know. So I don't know how they got approved, but somehow they did. But number one, uh, you are, we have the same pick of the year, the Kid Robot uh, Bunny Godzilla. So, you know, everything that Heisenberg said before holds true uh, for me as well. This thing is just ferocious. Oh yeah, I want to mention a few other things that uh, to watch for in 2021. Now that 2020 is coming to an end, mm-hmm. we can hope for uh, even better items in 2021. Okay. So a few things in particular I want to point out. 
So uh, one thing, of course, is I think we're all looking forward to are the Godzilla vs. Kong toys. Yeah. So it looks like the movie, at least the plan right now, is that the movie's going to come out in May. Mm -hmm. And since it's been delayed so long, I'm hoping that there's just going to be a flood of uh, toys that come out like right around the same time as the movie. Because I think the toy companies have had plenty of time. We'll see. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something else uh, to watch for that looks very exciting is that uh, Mondo, you know, which made that great Gigan t-shirt, they're also making some statues and action figures. Mm. And so they had a video out. That's like you should check for that. We uh, reposted it on our channel. Okay. But, uh, yeah, where they talked about their statues and their action figures. And, like, uh, so, yeah, and I think there's something for everyone there. Some yeah. really good-looking stuff. I think what, yep. uh, like, a few things people are particularly excited about is their Mothra statue, which yep. just looks, uh, you know, amazing. Yeah. And also they're going to do a, uh, a Godzilla cartoon uh, statue from the... The Hanna-Barber, right? Yeah, ha yeah Hanna-Barbera. Like yeah, 1970s. 1970s. Yeah, Hanna-Barbera, 1970s uh, Godzilla, that they're planning to do a, a stat, like an eight-inch statue of that. Very and, cool. And people are very excited because there's never been a uh, yep. any sort of uh, uh, figure of that version of Godzilla. All right, very cool. Then one other thing I'm going to keep a watch out for, and still, still kind of like unknown to me how it's going to turn out, is uh, Spiral Studios. Ah, which the King Ghidorah. Which is, well, yeah, yeah. So they're making this giant uh, King Ghidorah statue, which is still not, like, you know, shipped out to people, last I heard. Yep. So uh, I'm really curious, uh, like, uh, you know, if this, you know, turns out to be a success or not. Again, I'm hoping, hoping it works out. Mm. But uh, because it's a brand new company, I'm wondering if it's, if they're really going to pull it off. So, yeah, I'm hoping to, uh, I hope, hope they do ship out their uh, big King Ghidorah statue. And okay. they've already started... Uh, announcing that they're working on a uh, you know Godzilla like a burning yeah. Godzilla burning Godzilla and well, yeah the Mothra photos, wings oh well yeah two versions I think one version without the Mothra wings and one version with the Mothra wings mm. oh G forever is still there but the uh, his camera battery went out yep <laughs> oh yeah so uh, but, yeah you can't see me but at least you can hear me oh yeah but we're finishing up uh, anyway so yeah that's our best and worst of 2020 and we're very much looking forward to 2021. We do ask that you uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll be bringing you lots of Godzilla toys and other fun videos in 2021. Alrighty, this is Heisenberg. And G Forever, hoping you have an awesome year of 2020. And uh, look forward to 2021.